Alright, so here we have an interesting uh, new size of motor. This comes from DYS, it's the BE1404. Uh, this one's 4300 kV. They also make it in 6000 kV, but uh, DYS only sent me the 4300 kV. Uh, so hopefully they'll send me the 6000 kV in the future so I can test that one. Uh, that that 6000 kV should be perfect for uh, for 3S and maybe even 4S for the 3 inch props. Uh, so this one uh, uh, is pretty interesting in the sense that uh, so far we had only had the 1104. 1105 and 1106 motors. Uh, we've also had the 1304 size. Uh, so now we have this 1404, so a slightly larger diameter. So it's going to be interesting to see how this motor performs compared to those other ones uh, having the larger diameter. Let's uh, and just to see what kind of a performance advantage that uh, gives uh, if it's got more torque and if it's able to to sp spin the same props. Uh, more efficiently uh, or even faster. Uh, so as you can see this one is pretty nice uh, design and they're actually going with the uh, naked bottom type of uh, base as you can see there and uh, the bolt pattern on the mount I don't think it follows the standard 1106 uh, pattern. This one seems to be it looks like it's a around 12 millimeter hole to hole so it's 12 millimeters. Yeah, that's what it's showing. 12, 12 by 12. Yeah, so this motor comes with about 90 millimeters uh, worth of wire, and this is pretty thin wire. I think it's about 26 gauge or so. So it doesn't weigh that much. Uh, so with the with this length of wire, let's see what the motor weighs. So it says uh, 9.6 grams. Uh, so if we cut the wire uh, so that it's only 50 millimeters, we'll be getting rid of about 0.5 grams, so half a gram. So this motor weighs in at about 9.1 grams with the standard 50 millimeter worth of wire, and I uh, I believe they give you the weight on the on the website uh, without wires. Uh, they say it's 9.37 grams. So let's uh, open it. It's using a standard C clip for retaining the shaft and uh, there we go so the shaft itself is should be two millimeters I think so yeah that's that's two millimeters shaft thickness shaft diameter so pretty good uh, should be pretty strong and uh, there's the magnets as you can see pretty pretty nicely glued in there and there's a stator pretty standard uh, configuration uh, let's measure that uh, stator yep it's four millimeters so pretty interesting new size motor it's uh, let's put it together back together and see how it performs on the thrust stand so new motor from DYS
All right, so let's look at the thrust test results uh, for the BE-1404 4300kV motor. Uh, the motor measured slightly higher at 4365kV, so just a few kV higher, which is it's good in this case for this size motor and props. I went ahead and tested on the usual props on 3S and 4S. As you can see from the results, it uh, seems like this motor is uh, better suited for 2.5 to 3-inch props. Uh, with the 2 inch props, as you can see, the, even on 4S, the thrust is uh, kind of lacking a little bit. Uh, it'll still fly, but uh, it's not going to be overwhelming performance uh, by any means. One thing I do want to mention is that uh, f uh, I've been noticing on the recent tests for the 1104 to 1106 size motors is that uh, these 3 inch props with high pitch 3045 and 2840 they kind of seem to overwhelm the motor on the top end uh, on the static thrust on the thrust stand in the air it's been reported that these props perform quite well actually uh, once flying because the props are unloading they don't get to the point of overwhelming the, the motor as they do here on the thrust stand because when I'm running them I, I can just see the motor like struggling at the top end you can just hear it just kind of slowing down at the top end and you'll see the amps uh, climb up pretty high but in flight uh, that's not the case they they fly pretty well uh, from what I've heard uh, so still uh, pretty good props they, they just don't show their true performance here on the thrust stands uh, so that's one thing thing to keep in mind so on 4s as you can see the motor that starts to show quite good uh, thrust uh, starting from the two and a half inch props and up this one is a new prop that was sent in by kila g uh, guy from australia thanks for sending it so i included it on this test and and this is a four blade prop and he loves it he says it flies really well uh, i believe he's been using it with the 1106 motor so uh, i believe the 6000 kv i think uh, so the same situation here where you see the prop uh, kind of like uh, slow down at the top end but it, in flight uh, he's saying that it, it performs quite well so that's one prop to keep in mind as we can see the motor does make really good thrust uh, on the two and a half and three inch props uh, it's upwards of 300 grams again the amps are gonna look a little bit too high but that's because it's static uh, once you're flying it this these are gonna come down quite a lot by up to 35 even 40 percent lower than that uh, so don't panic uh, when you see this these high numbers this is just static thrust so overall a very capable motor one interesting comparison that you guys can make is uh, just uh, check out uh, the table for the uh, 1106 4500 kV motor that I have uh, on test uh, the Emax uh, if you compare them side by side you'll see that they're almost identical like very close to each other I mean within a few grams of thrust and and I think pretty much like one amp of difference so they're very close to each other so I mean practically the same uh, these two motors so pretty good entry from DYS I wish they had sent me also the 6000 kV motor so we can also check out how it performs and how it compares with against the 1106 but uh, hopefully maybe they'll send it in the future so that's the results uh, for this review and test for these motors thanks for watching and until the next video